In this video, I'll show you how the VGAF alerting tool can help you with your SAP CPI support. So the VGAF tool helps uh, your support efforts. It en enables you to resolve problems faster. It gives you really a good place where you can document all the, the problems that you already have solved. So people next time can solve them faster. And it reduces the, the cost uh, because you don't need to spend as many hours on it and the problems will be solved faster. Uh, we have created a rule-based alerting engine that is really simple to set up, specify what the alerts are and then uh, give correct information to the people in charge. And for CPI, we also have a message monitor that gives a lot better overview of what's going on. Let's talk about the iFlow monitoring. So one of the, the challenges with the normal monitor for CPI is you get all messages in just one tile or all of them. And it's really difficult to follow a specific trail on what's going on. We have created a tool that allow you to real time look at all the data in your CPI tenant, group the iFlow that matters together, uh, enable you to search for all the searchable fields in this and then you can give users access to view this group um, and you can see both MPL attachment and persistent messages. Let me just show you how this works. So the simple approach, we have the, the monitoring tool here. We can see we have a number of different uh, scenarios here. We can open, the, we can go to the edit mode, we can create a new one. Here we can specify which statuses we want. We can specify if we want one or all scenarios. And we can then just add the ones we have if we want to. And then we'll only see the messages from this and we can even specify uh, sender and receiver since these are also searchable. No messages in that one, that's okay. So let's open one of these that we have created. And in this one, we can see we got easy access to multiple iFlows, but not all. We can see relevant information. And I think for these, we also have the persisted and persisted payloads and the MPL attachments. And you can open these if you have access to, to view them. So this is a JSON file that we can view. Uh, so this really is a simple way to give access to number of iFlows so users can see what's going on in the system and you don't need to create them on the backend system or on the CPI system because they can see everything in this tenant and it's really easy to assign users uh, to this. Next up is the performance monitor. The performance monitor is a way to get an indication of how your CPI tenant is currently performing monitor uh, latency, memory, CPU usage, and stuff like that. And uh, if there's something failed, you can set up rules. Or if the latency is above something, you can set up the rules. So this monitor looks like this. We can see we upgraded our tool in this specific point in time. If we go back, so four days, we can see when our tenant was uh, migrated, we can see how many messages or latency for a period of time and how many messages we have processed over a given period of time. So this gives us an indication about how well and what we are performing. The last thing and most important is the alerting tool. And this is about setting up prior proactive alerting that allows you to figure out what's going on in your system based on these alerts, set up rules so you can act quickly on these. And a rule could be send an email to a user saying you have created an invalid document or this is how to fix it. It could be to send a webhook that you sent to an external system or reprocess some messages. It's not the most ideal reprocessing we have, but we have it. So let me show you what this looks like. So here in our system, we can see the the number of failed messages, they have been downloaded to the system. And let's just take this uh, look up here we have. We don't know what the cause of this, 
So this is a socket timeout on a specific iFlow. Um, and we want to create a new rule so next time someone sees this, they can fix it really quickly. So we can then uh, connection error. We can give it a number. These will then be executed in range and we can see what's going on. And because a lot of these values may change from time to time, we've just removed them from the X path. Uh, and so it makes it easier to, to, to monitor these. We don't want if there's a, a thousand messages being processed, we don't want all of these, we just want one for each of these messages. And then we can test it. This would be, then be the email we would receive and we can send it to our email or we can send it to a webhook. And then that's it. Now, next time we receive this alert, we'll get this notification. We can see how easy it is to, to fix and what to do about this, uh, this issue. That was the FIGAF alert tool. You can find more at figaf.com forward slash SOT. Uh, SOT. Um, it's that's really simple to set up uh, to get started and see what how it can perform. Looking forward to see how you use the tool.